Saturday, friends. So yes, I have a box opening today and a cute little baby from one of my favorite artists. Um, so let's get into this video. I hope you guys are having a great day and I can't wait to share this little baby with you. Be right back. All right, welcome back, you guys. Um, so as you can see, I've got a Claire's Cuties over here. Um, like I said, she is one of my favorite artists. And the hard thing is with Ashton is if, since she does go to the doll shows, and if I can make it to a doll show, my goal right now is to see if I can pick up at least one or two of her babies if I can make it to a doll show. But this one, I can't wait to share you this one. So if those of you who already know and have, have an idea what this, who this doll is, oh, this is a gorgeous doll. But for those of you who don't, I can't wait to surprise, can't wait to share and surprise you because this babe was so beautiful when she brought it to life. I was just like, or reborn life, you know. Um, but first things first, happy Saturday. Um, today we're doing Play Day Saturday, which is Patricia's theme. So hi, Patricia. Um, I love trying to get in here and do her theme on Saturdays. And since I did miss Fresh Face Friday, because I do have a fresh face here, I'm going to miss mention Miss um, Lynn over at My Bella Blessing. Um, prayers and love to her as she's on her healing journey. Um, and then um, I also love to say um, uh, hi to Kitty and Toddy over there at Little Wild Nursery because they have Casual Fun Friday. I have to say today has been a nice, lovely, casual day. And this week, um, because I'm going to say Thankful Friday, which is for Tammy, I am thankful that all is well i also want to say thankful thursday which is malrissa's so for malrissa and tammy who give us some thankful thursdays and fridays yes because we had a hurricane hit on wednesday um i'm in the louisiana air um, region area of of the in the united states and a hurricane francis came and paid us a visit and um and so of course i have no people that were hit and had lost power had flooding um, but we were all good here, thankfully. Um, we made it through, but I am thankful that we did. So there we go. For Thankful Thursday and Friday, we're doing Play Day Saturday, Casual Fun Friday, and Fresh Face Friday today on this gorgeous Saturday. So I had a great day. Um, also had a great day with the kids because um, we just hung out all day at home. We went out and let them swim because, you know, we are back to school and we're in our fall months now. Of course, in Louisiana, it's still warm. So while we still have warm weather... Um, they're going to be swimming, and they had a fun day today. Daddy is home, so Mommy can enjoy this. I've been waiting for this baby. So as you saw, this beautiful little presentation. And Ashton, I love her her colors. Oh, you guys. Thank you, Ashton. <laughs> All right. So a little... Let me just do, you know, I'm not a talker, but so I'm going to, I'm going to have to just, let me just go a little slow for you guys. <laughs> Look at this. Guys. So, all right. When Ashton made this babe, it was for her. She went to the, she was at the um, Dolls of the World. And, you know, I just got my, my Able from her. And um, she was also going to be at Kansas Doll Show, which the babe she made here was for Kansas. And I knew I couldn't make Kansas. I was hoping I could, but I could not make it. I knew she, I saw this um, when, she, when they, people, you know, were doing videos and I saw this llama on her table. And I was just like, oh my gosh. One, I can't be at her at the doll show so I can snatch this, this babe. Then I saw this on her table and I went, she's got a llama. <laughs> it might be silly to some people, but I, I love my Winnie the Pooh and I love my llamas and I love my bees, so thank you oh my gosh so we've got a llama that came with this little cutie um and oh this is pretty so we've, we've got a little holder here which is gonna hold pacifier pacifier clips i love this thank you this is beautiful so also to say with this so i was watching um when i and i wasn't the only person watching this doll but when i saw that she made this doll i was just like oh my goodness i really wish i could be at the doll show so I was watching, um, you know, just give, sending, just messaging her and saying, hey, how did the doll show go? But of course she was at the doll show, so I couldn't hear from her yet. And then she finally let everybody know. She was like, oh, the doll's still here. Um, when I get back, it will be posted. And so I'm sitting there like, okay, I made my, my day because it was going to be that Friday. And I was like, I made my day around that. I had to put it on my calendar at work to make sure that I could be 
ready when that doll was going to be ready. And here's the hair, hair conditioning. It's, uh, I love her little leave-in conditioners for the baby's hair. Now, she had the auction that it came up for the doll, and, the, and it was going to be ready that Friday. Um, I wanted to be ready, so I was waiting. And then when it was live, I was trying to hurry and put my numbers in and be like, okay, here, here, here. And you guys, obviously, I got him. And it's a him. It's a he. Um, so we've got a wafer and diapers. And this is so cute. I love that color. So it's a little boy. He's also got, um, looks like a little outfit in here. His brush, a little soft brush, and a pacifier and clip. Uh, uh, dark green and light green. Uh, and I was just too shocked. Oh, and he also has a belly plate. It's um, non-gendered, but it's a he. But he's got a belly plate, and I love that. And also, if, if you follow Ashton's page, she did the AI on, with this doll. And when, when she did the AI, I was even, I mean, I was already hooked. But when she did the AI, I wanted him even more because he was just too cute. Of course, I've got his, some paperwork here I'll share with you guys in just a minute. And he's a good weight. I think, yep, I got him in the right position. So that's that. So here we go with the cutie. Let me get him open. I am so excited for this doll. <laughs> and she had this beautiful blanket he's wrapped in, a little receiving blanket. It is a cream color with these dark green leaves on it. And so he's a perfect fall baby. So let's get him unraveled. And he's a tiny size too. <laughs> All right, here he is. Now he's got his face half showing. Oh my gosh. He looks so real. Oh my goodness. He, he I look I look at him I'm like I don't want to wake him up. Look at that face. And he's so little. Oh, I can't wait to put him with his brother. This hair, you guys, you know, I love, I, well, I also love redhead. So if you know anything, I love red. He's got some white in there and it's a curly, little squished down fro. He's got a curly, curly hair, little curly hair, little curly fro. <laughs> A little curly cue. Oh, but she nailed the albinism. Um, for those of you, if you know, I love, I really am drawn to dolls that have what we would call, you know, if they had a disability or something different about, I love the different. I love that. I love my babies that have Down syndrome. I love my babies that have, um, if, well, I had a baby that had dwarfism. Um, but another mommy has wanted him and I let him go, but I do regret that one. But I love babies that have differences. And so when she brought, showed him, I was just like, girl, she did a beautiful job with making him ha show a baby with albinism. Uh, and I have a couple other dolls that have albinism. As you, as you saw that I just had my... Um, when I got Abel, I had gotten my um, um, Aslan. They were the same sculpt, the lower two of zero Ross's sculpt that, um, Ross sculpts that I got when I was at Dolls of the World. I'm looking this way because they're over here. Um, but one had the al albinism and one didn't. And that was my, um, uh, uh, my Ashton doll. Sorry, I had a little interruption. So what I was saying though, but I, you know I had my other um, babe that has the albinism that I just got, which was my Aslan who was by, um, by Yarolina, or, or not Yarolina, by Elenia, um, little, the Little Stars Nursery. I'm going to put it here on the screen because I don't want to say, I don't want to mess up this name of her nursery. Um, but I had two dolls from her, but she did the albin albino baby, and I loved how he came out. And so I have him with my, so I have my Aslan and my Abel, my twins, and uh, yeah, um, Ashton did the one, and uh, Elena did the other. And so now I've got another little albinism in my little collection. So I have a couple of albinism babies in my collection now. Um, but 
he by far, oh my goodness, the way she captured the details. I mean, he I, even looking at him this close, he just looks so lifelike. And so, of course, I'm sure that goes to the artist and the sculptor. So let's look at the paperwork. I'm lost for words with this one. He is so beautiful. I felt that with Abel as well, but I'm just lost for words. So he is the Chardon kit. He is four pounds, eight ounces. He feels good. 18 inches long is why he feels so tiny by Claire's Cutie. And so he's, I want to say he is one of the prototypes. Yes, he's one of the prototypes. And let me get his paperwork out. So he is two of seven of the prototypes. And he is the Chardon by Joy Lynn Wong. Joy Lynn Wong did a beautiful job. I got my instructions, um, my you know, with Claire, um, or Claire as her daughter. Ashton sends these with her dolls that are like little instructions. And I have to say, if you ever get one of her dolls, she's, she makes herself available to answer any questions if, you know, if you have any concerns. But I ha thankfully have not had to worry about that. Um, but if you need to, she's, she's accessible. She will, she really will talk to you if you need help with your babes. But I love, and his body feels so, so perfectly weighted. Normally I don't take clothes off, but let's, let's take a little peek at him before I jump off. I do, um, I wanted to just show him right quick to everybody and then, of course, snuggle with him and enjoy him once I get off of this little screen. But oh my goodness, look, look at him. His painting is beautiful, look at that. Look at these limbs. Get those feet. <laughs> he is beautiful. Look at this boy. Ah, oh, he is gorgeous. Oh, just the way he moves. I mean, he's just a perfect little sleeping baby. Well, his name, so let me get let you know what that's going to be. So let me lay him next to me. So this little um, bugaboo, I had to think about it. I was like, okay. So there's another doll I have. So I have to, I'm gonna have to come in and show you guys my little Ashton collection again because I did share them last year. But I did get one of her. Um, uh, it was the McKinley, and I had my daughter. She, we were both. I was showing him off to her, and she was, and I was telling her names I had, and she's like, no, I have a name for him, and I think he looks like an Alejandro. So he became Alejandro. So when I got him and I had a share, I wanted to show him to her. I was like, look, I, I got this doll. I really wanted him and it's from Ashton again. And so I told her, I said, what do you think of his name? And then she went, okay. And she came up with coming in. Then she went Alexander. So I was like, Alejandro, Alexander. <laughs> and she's like, yes, Alexa Alexander and Alejandro. And I said, all right, well, you guys. This is little Alexander. So welcome him to my nursery. And I am so happy to get another baby from my good artist friend, friend, Ashton. She is so, I have to say, she is such a sweet person. And I am so happy that I watched him like a hawk and hoped that I could get him. And I'm glad I got him. So here we go. Look at him. He is so sweet. Oh, yeah. <laughs> little newborn snuggles so welcome alexander to my collection and i just i can't wait to just snuggle with him um so i hope everyone again just enjoy your saturday happy play day saturday and i can't wait to check in with you guys soon and i have another babe actually i want to share with you guys so i will have to come back obviously and do a blanket reveal so i will talk to you all soon and bye bye